Hello, my name is Isaac, and welcome to my channel. I am here to show you uh, my 2D platformer template that I've made and go over some of its features. If you want to use it, you can download it on itch.io, link in the description. So if you download this and open up this project, the first thing you'll notice is that it's got a little thing here for the controls. So it'll tell you exactly where it's mapped to. Obviously you can change these in project settings under input map. Everything is here. Um, so, you know, you can set these to whatever you want. It's just there if you're in the demo scene. So you know what to press in order to, you know, get the actions that you want to see. Um, so here's just a quick demo, uh, just some basic 8-bit graphics here, nothing impressive, obviously you've got your full movement, you know, good jumping physics, a wall slide animation, you can climb but there isn't any animation for that at the moment, you just slide up and down, so it's there, I mean, you're going to change the animations anyway, so that's not super important for this demo, the functionality exists. Okay, um, and then I believe for the attack and the animations just cycle through. They're pretty slow. They're like two frames, but they're there. So the logic's there, you've just got to bring in your own animations. Okay, um, you've also got a boost. You can use that. I mean, it's kind of like a second jump. If you want to, you could implement it into the same key input. Um, that would be pretty easy to do, uh, but for now it's just on a separate key, so you can fly around. Um, now I don't think I've got, yeah, so there's no cooldown on this at the moment, it just refreshes when you hit the ground. Um, and the other thing is the wall jumping, so that's pretty smooth. You go up and down, it's set up, it's, it depends on the game that you play, but uh, some games will let you just scale a wall without actually having to uh, find another one. Uh, you can do this, there's a way to prevent it in the uh, the variable setup. It will go over in just a minute. Okay, so if you were to bring this into your own project and try to use it, I imagine you're just gonna grab you know, all of this stuff, um, but the actual uh, scene that you wanna import is under player character.tscn um, so you can just drop that in and he's got everything um, and so you just click on him you've got a bunch of variables here that you can just change uh, if you want the character to be able to jump dash uh, climb the walls slide on the walls attack if you want the dodge to have a cooldown it's there by default it resets when you land um, the jump height obviously if you increase this you're going to be super super high jumping as you can see yeah, and I think the default variables you actually move pretty quickly so you can lower that down if you want so you've got uh, your acceleration obviously that's the the speed or the you know units that you get to reach this max speed um, your friction, so that's how fast you slow down you've got your dodge speed obviously if you increase that you're gonna go pretty far when you use the dodge, um, the cooldown if you've got it, the wall jump speed. Now this is an interesting variable, so uh, by default when you jump off a wall, <laughs> that's still really high. Okay, let's turn that down, the default is 5. Does that feel good? Yeah, that feels alright. Um, so when you use your wall jump, by default it's going to push you away from the wall, so this whole thing here so you can't like uh you know at least how this is set up you have to use two walls to get up you can't just keep jumping up the wall it's not going to work or it will just very slowly um, and if you want to prevent that entirely all you have to do is really just increase this wall jump speed because that's the the amount that you're actually getting pushed away from the wall and directional input is disabled when you jump off the wall so you're going to get pushed away um, and you're not going to be able to push back in so that wall jump speed is going to influence how far away you're getting actually pushed from the wall uh, so the further the unit the less likely the player is going to be able to jump up the wall just with one wall and that's just going to depend on how you're designing the game 
So say for example, we want to make this something like five, the default is 1.3, but we're going to make it five. It's going to be actually insane. Uh, hit the play. Um, where's a good place to demo this? Probably when there's no obstacles. <laughs> Get thrown across the the world and there's no chance for you to ever come back to that wall because you're flying off. So uh, we'll just up that a little bit. So when you're jumping, there's a minimum velocity that you need to meet uh, before you start falling. Now it's set to zero, but you can make this anything you want. So you could make it uh, 375, which I think with the default is the minimum velocity you hit when you're jumping. Um, so if you do that, you're always going to hit that height. Um, and you can make it anywhere in between. Let's make it negative 100 so you still get a bit. You can't just release the key. And it really just depends on how you're designing your game. And the last is wall climb speed, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, obviously you don't, well you wouldn't normally design a game where you climb as fast as you actually move. So that's just the velocity that you're moving up and down the walls. So if you want that to be really quick, you can make it the same as the max speed. Just fly up those walls. Like crazy fast. Anyway. There you go. So it's pretty easy to use. Um, it's not perfect, I'll give you that. Uh, if you've got anything you want me to add, or if you have any pointers on how to improve the code, uh, you're welcome to let me know in the comments down below. Um, I will be making improvements to this as time goes on. I'm working on a 3D platform at the moment, but um, after that's done, I might come back to this. Uh, and that's it. Okay guys, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have anything to you know, point out or things that I can improve on in this video, let me know, it's my first one. Um, I'm looking to do more on any kind of development that I do for these templates or any kind of games that I'm making. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.